All right, so I wanted to show everybody some recent tweaks and changes I've made. So um, before I showed you my dynamic script, um, I did do some, some things differently now. And uh, I'm using some auto hide functions and stuff like that for calculated things. So for instance, if I want to do a sparge batch or a no sparge batch, um, some differences is how much water I'm going to use in the brew day is now calculated. And then if I sparge, which is checked right now, I can set my water to grain and you'll see my sparge volumes. But if I decide not to sparge, then it will change this to no sparge and the water to grain and hide the sparge stuff uh, so I don't see it. And also, um, before, if you remember, I had some different parameters when we clicked OK, and uh, now that's a little different as well. I, I won't run through it because they all pop up at different times and it's a little wonky, but here's what it looks like. Now these amounts pop up under the flow meters they're associated with, and within here there's multiple layers of them, and so at, at different times I will hide or show those um, variables and so I can stack them one on top of each other and, and take up much less space. Uh, the other thing I've added boil amounts and boil additives and hop varieties and hop amounts that ties back into over here where it says um, first hop second hop which was which is something I had uh, but now if I choose it, I can actually put in the variety, let's say Magnum, and I want to add uh, 28 grams. And so at boil time, this will pop up on the screen and tell me what variety and how much. Uh, same with like uh, any kettle clarifiers like Werflock, Irish Moss, etc. It'll come up here. And again, they'll come up and they'll auto hide during the brew session as to not clutter the desktop. So sometimes during brewing, you might see this, uh, you know, this screen. But when something comes up, you might see any one of these different ones pop up just to give you a visual indicator of, of what's going on or what's about to happen. And uh, Again, it, it uses all these volumes that are auto-calculated right here. Again, if I change my, my grain weights, you can see it changes the snow sparge. If I was sparging and change the grain weight, um, it'll change the parameters if I want to go to 1.5, you know. All that dynamically changes as well so yeah just a little fun playing with this and adding and and moving around some things but uh, overall uh, I think it's pretty fun